Hi Sweeney students, this is Miss Techum and I will be reading you your story today. And I am going to be reading to you Grumpy Monkey Party Time. And this book is by Susan Lang and illustrated by Max Lang. And I have permission to read this from Random House. One perfectly pleasant afternoon Jim Pansy found an invitation on his branch. You are invited to Porcupine's party. Party, said Jim. Hmm. It'll be a great time, said Norman from next door. We can dance. Dance, Jim exclaimed, cutting Norman off. I can't dance. Can't dance? Everyone can dance, said a hyena. Come on, show us your moves. I don't have any moves, said Jim. Sure you do, said a hyena. You just need to try. So Jim tried to dance. You should have taken him at his word, Norman said to hyena. If Jim doesn't know how to dance, said Oxpecker, we'll just have to teach him. Everyone was excited to teach Jim how to dance. You gotta feel the beat, the lizard said. Gotta strut your stuff, said Ostrich. Gotta shake your booty, said the baboons. He's doing it! He's dancing! Everyone cheered. Party time, said Norman and they headed to Porcupine's party. At the party, everyone wanted to dance with Jim. Dance with us, said the ground squirrels. Care to shake a tail feather, asked Peacock. May we cut in, asked the warthogs. Me next, said Rhino. Jim danced and danced. Everyone on the dance floor was having a great time everyone except Jim. And then it got worse. No, Jim said. This is not the best. It's the worst. I don't like dancing. The other animals stared in amazement. Who ever heard of someone who doesn't like dancing? asked Oxpecker. Actually, said Water Buffalo, I don't like dancing either, but I never said anything because I thought I was the only one. I know others enjoy themselves, but I always feel silly on the dance floor. I'd rather do something else, squawked Marabou. To be honest, chimed in Bat, dance floors are always too loud for my taste. I'm going home, Jim said, and he turned to go. And he bumped smack into Norman. You're not leaving, are you? asked Porcupine. Everyone at this party wants to dance, said Jim, but we don't like dancing. It's not for everyone, Norman agreed. But now I'll have too much food, said Porcupine sadly. Oh, Porcupine, we didn't mean to upset you, Jim paused. Wait, there's food at this party? And indeed, there was lots of wonderful food. Fruit bowls, pineapple pudding, fresh meat, fly pot pie, maggot salad, bark jerk, pickled roots, flour cake that was gluten-free, grass, old meat, surprise eggs, bananas, honey, seed dumplings, and more bananas. And plenty of games too. There was bobbing for mangoes, splash puddle off, swing along, shake that tree, and tag. And so they stayed at the party. Jim enjoyed the wonderful food. He laughed with his friends. He even played a game or two. But he did not dance. And it was a great time. I hope you enjoyed that story. 
if you want, there's a story that's called Just Grumpy Monkey. That is the first one before this one that Suzanne Lang wrote. So I hope you're all staying safe and see you soon, Sweeney students. Bye.